All right, we've got this concept of periodicity, which is just a fancy word for functions being periodic, and it can be a little bit tough to understand, but we talked about taking things like things as simple as like pi, 5 pi over 4 and figuring out how to graph them because here is 0, here is 1 half pi, okay, which we normally write as pi over 2, but we're really saying that's halfway to pi. Pi is over here. This is 3 pi over 2 down here, which is like 1 and a half pi. Well, what we can do is we can change this to a mixed number. We divide 4 into 5 and get 1 with 1 left over. So we're saying that this angle would be 1 and 1 fourth pi. So we go to 1 pi and we go a fourth of the way more and we are able to draw our angle. We could write this 1 and 1 fourth pi as 1 pi plus pi over 4. And then what we would do is we would say, well, this is an odd pi, which is over here where this odd pi is. Because if we think about it, if we keep going around the circle a whole bunch of times, like here is 2 pi, and then if we go to here, that would make this 3 pi. If we go around again, we can say this is like 4 pi. We can keep counting up, but all of our even pies will end up on the right side, and all of our odd pies will end up on the left side. So for our problem that we're given on the review on 27, we have to start with one of these two. Like they, they helped us out. They could have put, I don't even know what this would be if this was added together, like if this had been over six and like, and, you know, common denominators and stuff. Like we, we're fortunate, we don't have to, to split it up. They split it up to make it easier for us. So what's going on is that this is an even pi. We don't care how big of a number it is. We just care that it's an even number of pies, which means that we start off over here at zero, okay? Because 2880 pi is over here. Then we're adding to that angle. So we're going in, since it's a positive pi over six, we're adding we go in the positive direction pi over 6. So the positive direction pi over 6 would be a 30 degree angle in a positive direction. That allows us, since that's 30, to create this special right triangle. So 1 is across from 30, square root of 3 is across from 60, 2 is our hypotenuse. They want tangent, tangent's opposite over adjacent. So that's 1 over the square root of 3, or if you rationalize, square root of 3 over 3. So we just have to break it up basically into like a mixed number if it's not given to us already, like this broken up. If it is broken up like this, you have to say, is it even or is it odd? And then how much do I need to go after that? So you can draw your triangle and evaluate.